Welcome back. In the last video we talked about how we can go from ethanol into ethylene and that was a dehydration reaction which meant we removed water from ethanol to make it into ethylene. In this video we're going to cover the exact opposite so how we can go from ethylene into ethanol and what kind of catalyst we need to use. So I'm going to read the actual dot point which says describe the, the addition of water to ethylene resulting in the production of ethanol and identify the need for a catalyst in this process and the catalyst used. So again there's a couple of different steps and we're going to go for them um, step by step. First was to describe the addition of water to ethylene. Then we also had and identify the need for a catalyst but we also need to be able to identify the catalyst used. So we need to talk about why we need to have a catalyst but also the actual catalyst name of it. So we'll start with the first part which was describe the addition of water to ethylene. So here we have an ethylene molecule and remember ethylene that was unique because it had that double bond here. So it had that double bond right here, double bond. And we have to describe the reaction. So how do we go from ethylene to ethanol? So first of all, the more very important part is that we have something called H2O, which is water. And ethylene plus water, those two react to make ethanol. So if you look at the structure, the difference between ethylene and ethanol, ethylene has H2 less. So basically you've got one hydrogen here on this side, which this one doesn't which ethylene doesn't have, and you've got an OH group on this side which ethylene doesn't have. And where that comes from is from, from here, from H2O. So one of the hydrogens from the H2O will come go on, the, on this side and the other OH group will go on this side. And in the process, so when this happens, what happens is the double bond breaks. So you can see there's no double bond on this side. All right, so ethylene plus water will break this double bond one of the OH groups from high, from water will attach on this car on this side here, this part, and the other hydrogen, leftover hydrogen, will attach on the other side. So it'll be here. And so that was the um, the reaction from ethylene to water. It's called a hydration reaction. So I'll write that again. A hydration. Hydration just means hydration means adding water or increasing water amount. So that's more water. So when we're becoming hydrated, that means we're drinking water. So hydration means we're adding water or more water. So ethylene plus water, which is a hydration reaction, makes it into ethanol. But then we also have to be able to identify the need for a catalyst used. So in this case, we've got the catalyst being sulfuric acid. So we need to know the name, but we need to also know why we have to use it. So um, this catalyst here, is sulfuric acid in most cases and not only sulfuric acid but it's dilute sulfuric acid so dilute sulfuric acid and the reason why I need to have a catalyst is without a catalyst if we just have ethylene and water mixed together nothing's gonna happen it's not gonna be reacting together but if we add this catalyst which speeds up chemical reactions then this chemical reaction will happen much faster right, so Ethylene and water by itself won't make ethanol, but if we have ethylene and water plus a catalyst, such as dilute sulfuric acid, then we will make an ethanol. So it says identify need for a catalyst. We need a catalyst because otherwise the chemical reactions like this one won't go won't go ahead. All right, so we need to know a few details as well. So for example, that again the name of the catalyst, name of catalyst, is dilute sulfuric acid. But it can also be any other substances that supplies hydrogen ions, so these H plus ions. And the reason why is because the name acid means that there are many of these hydrogen ions when it comes into contact with water. So even though usually most of the time it's used as dilute sulfuric acid, it can also be something else as long as they supply these hydrogen ions. Right? But remember the name dilute sulfuric acid. That's the most important one to remember. Also we have so that was number one. We also have high temperatures or moderate temperatures of about 300 degrees Celsius. Plus, obviously, again, we have to add water. So these three have to be um, present. Um, the catalyst, dilute sulfuric acid, 300 degrees Celsius, and water has to be present. So we can go from ethylene to ethanol. 
that's for that. So we go from ethylene to ethanol if we have these three present. All right, if all are present, if all are present, we can go from ethylene to ethanol. And some of the reasons why we might want to go to ethanol is because we can use ethanol as a fuel and also as a solvent. I'm going to discuss the reason why we can use it as a good solvent in the next video, but these two are reasons why we want, might want to make ethanol. So last, I'm going to quickly go over um, the chemical formula for all this as well. So CH4, that was ethylene, so ethylene here. So ethylene plus H2O, and that is water. But as you can see, I forgot one thing. I have not put the state there in, the chemical state. So ethylene is usually gas, and water is obviously usually liquid. So those two plus dilute sulfuric acid goes into ethanol, and ethanol is usually liquid as well. The thing is with this one, because it's water, it is usually liquid, but it can also be gaseous, because if you see, we've got 300 degrees Celsius temperature-wise, it's high temperature. So what happens to water if you have high temperatures? It goes from liquid to gas state. So this can also be gas, so you can also write H2O gas, and that's also correct. So you, if you write your chemical formula for it, write CH4, which is ethylene, which is gaseous, plus H2O. In this case, usually it's liquid, but in this case it's gaseous. In the presence of dilute sulfuric acid, so you write that on top of your arrow, which means that's a catalyst, goes into ethanol, which is liquid. Right? I'll go over everything again, just to summarize. Describe the addition of water to ethylene, the reaction. So we have ethylene plus water, which means that water molecule comes into the structure of ethylene and makes ethanol. Identify the need for a catalyst. This reaction won't, won't happen if we don't have a catalyst. So we need to have dilute sulfuric acid and high temperatures or moderate temperatures of 300 degrees Celsius for this reaction to occur. And um, what, is, yeah, what is the name of the catalyst? The catalyst name is sulfuric acid. Dilute. So dilute means small amounts of it. Dilute sulfuric acid. So hope that was useful.